Hi, I'm Jake. Welcome back to more esports talk, and I hope you guys all enjoy. As per usual, I'm pulling content from a podcast between two legends of the scene, that being Scump and Hex. They actually brought to light, though, a great point, which I have talked about in the past. I'll probably talk about the future as well. It was actually first brought to light, and recently, I should say, we covered this. Nate shot in the likes of Karma retiring from Call of Duty. He talks about the fact that pro players in general, not just from Call of Duty, but esports in general, should be streaming or making content on the side for when times like these come and they do have to or choose to retire I, that that's just one thing i've never really understood and there's a lot of players man who have been competing for a long time now who are not not necessarily on the last leg of their career but maybe contemplating like okay i'm in my mid-20s dude i gotta figure this out i gotta what's next and if they just spent the time building their careers and streaming more often and trying to create content. And again, maybe it's just not for some people, but I think a lot of people are realizing now, now that they're at the end of the road, what do I have to show for this? So that's why I, I encourage anybody and everybody who's involved in this space, like just be streaming. And then the most recent podcast with Hector Rodriguez and Scump as well. They talk about this. They reiterate this. And of course, Scump himself and the Huntsman and the and Hex and what he has done with Optic formerly as well. They're all, all of these guys I've mentioned are heavily based around competing, but also making content and making it work. I think Hex makes some great points, continues to do so as to why these other esports pros, again, not only Call of Duty pros, but esports pros. Players, maybe some of you watching should be building your brand on the side whether it's streaming or making content making videos of some sort or another to what he says to build a safety net because you need to put the extra work in because it's going to be a, a day there will be a day where in his own words you say something wrong you do something wrong or you can't keep up and you're off your team and you might be wondering what do i do now i think that one of the main reasons people in in, in your profession in, at your level don't stream is because of what you just said. They don't want to get on stream to hear people talk shit about them and people talk like people. People, the fans are going to be rowdy at all at, at every single uh, category of competition, whether it's sports, whether it's chess, whether it's whatever it is. People are always there's going to be a boisterous few that are going to talk shit. That's their job. That's how they get the certainty of this league is that it's going to be here forever. The uncertainty about that is whether or not you are going to be here forever. Mm -hmm. Right? The me. You, I mean, everybody, no, but no one, no one can be spared, right? Period. But if you're a player and you are not doing the extra work, bad on you because there's going to come the time where you're not going to be performing or you're going to say the wrong thing to the wrong teammate and the wrong teammate's more popular with the rest of the teammates. So you're the one, first one on the chopping block, you're out. You're on the bench. You, you're only going to collect that free check for a little bit. What happens if you don't get picked up next year? What happens if next year somebody chooses not to renew I mean, your that's, contract? That's the thing with me being a penny pincher. I also see things in longevity. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't look a week or two out. I look like years out. Like yeah. after this contract's up, what will I be able to do, or mm -hmm. where can I go? You know? Yeah. I mean, you're not always gonna be able to perform. You know, you're gonna outgrow the or out age just yeah. the the platform that you have. And being a competitor, that can happen in a year you yeah. could be really really good at one cod and then the next cod you could just not be like nearly as good and yeah. if you don't have that safety net behind you then you'll just fall on your back and be like well you know now what do i do and I selfishly agree with all of these points because as a news source, you know, it, we do a lot of videos on big names out there. You guys, you guys are probably not surprised by that. Why we cover guys like Nadeshot and Scump and Hex. And when it comes time for other scenes out there, the Ninjas and the Dr. Disses and whatever it might be is because those are big names with big backings and big followings. And that's what people really like to care about. So selfishly, I am biased in the fact that I would love for more pro players to build up their own content, their own personalities, to have a backup plan plan to when they no longer can compete and so they can actually do something else when they choose to retire from that same competition what do you guys think about this i think we're i i honestly i think i've heard hector say this a long long time ago that's the future of the esports scene right these big followings these big brands and personalities once they're done competing in esports they can go on to do other things as well whether it be whatever sort of content creation that has to be the future otherwise you know we have this small window 
for a lot of pro players out there, it might be a few years. It might be three, four years. For the lucky ones, it may be as six, seven, eight years they can actually spend in their prime making top dollar. But after that, what do you do is the giant question. Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy. I know we've been cranking out a lot of stories here. Trust me, guys. Um, it's It's been a really fun time. Until next time, take care. Drink that wah. Drink that call. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Okay. Okay.